I have a specific focus uh, with this episode today. Mm. There have been a lot of a lot of things in the news, right? We see headlines, we think certain things about them, but we're not exactly sure what the details are. We're not exactly sure what defund the police means. We're not exactly yep. sure what dismantle the police means. So to start out this episode, I really want us to dig into that. So the first thing we're going to get into, Minneapolis police may be the first to dismantle the police, their police department. So the city council is debating radical steps to rebuild their law enforcement. They feel like it cannot be repaired. It cannot be reformed. We can't put Band-Aids on it. We basically need to break everything down and start from scratch. And on Sunday, City Council President Lisa Bender, who has pledged to vote for the plan, said the lawmakers decided to take the step because our efforts at incremental reform have failed period so like what did you josh what did you think when you first heard hey like minneapolis just wants to just get rid of this whole police department i don't know a society in which there wasn't a form of police Mm -hmm. right so i don't think the answer is abolish or do away with police I don't think that's the answer. Mm-hmm. I believe that um, despite the negatives, right, that the the blimples that we see, which are terrible negatives, I never want to take any credit or discredit any of them. Um, despite the negatives that we see every single day, mm-hmm. there's a shit ton of good that's done, right? You get into a mm-hmm. car accident right now, who do you call? The police. N- nothing good about that situation, right? But like nothing can move on from that situation until those boys come. Yeah. Right. So like, there's things in place in which we we need police officers, first responders, um, and we have to give them credit where the credit's due. I think overall, and we're gonna get into this. I think that abolishing the police probably not the answer. Do we change training? Do we change education? Do we change our hiring process? Do we change our command? Do we change the internal structure? A thousand percent. Do we do away with it? I don't know if we can. I feel like, and I said this last week. I feel like in Minneapolis, everybody needs everybody needs to go from the gov, from the mayor. I know to you the, want them out to the city, even the city that's council, me. even the city you. council that's voting for this. Like, where where were you guys with, you know, this this strong feeling of reform before George Floyd was murdered? See, so people live in the mindset of if 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 it isn't broken, don't fix it, right? Mm-hmm. So there was nothing that was apparent to them. To be broken in their respective system. Based on based on like I guess a lot of the reports that are coming out after I've seen some, I've seen some rape stuff. Yeah, exactly. Some, after the George Floyd uh, murder, it seems like the Minneapolis police has just had a very toxic relationship with the Minneapolis community. Okay. And once that is ingrained and there is toxicity and there's corruption and there is mistreatment and police brutality. You know, there's there have been so many band-aids that have been placed on so many different police departments, federally, locally, and we see the same things, right? Like we give police officers body cameras, but the things still happen and they're not they don't they don't even feel a way about the stuff being recorded on their body cameras or on their dash yeah. or on their dash cameras because that, that, we see videos of exactly. all of them. Yeah. They're not concerned about it because they know there's no accountability for their actions. Um and then they've been, been recording themselves since What's that show? Bad Boys? Since, oh, bad, since cops? Since cops? cops. <laughs> They've been... So before body cams was a thing, we used to see the boys give it up. And low key, a lot of y'all like that show. I think there needs to be a drastic change to police. Just police itself. Just policing itself. Like departments. Um, I heard something on CNN today. There are about like 18,000 different police departments in this country. They all have different rules. They all have different methods. All different ideologies. So it's a crapshoot on what you're going to get reg- like regarding where you live in this country. And I don't think it can continue to be that. Uh, and I know that they're passing legislation. Um, the Democrats went out there in their Kente cloth and just like, you know, showboated for everybody about like police reform. And I think so we need moves. federal police reform. And so they kneeled. Fans. Yeah. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi can't be kneeling like that. She should have known kneeling was a Jeez. rap after she turned 60. Yeah. That's something that she should have like, kneel reconciled. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a growing call to defund the police. When you go to protests, there are signs defund the police. Um, a lot of people take that as people being anti police, people being anti law enforcement. They think anybody that's chanting defund the police just wants like lawlessness and anarchy. And that is not the case. Um, 
when you think about defunding the police, it just means that we're reallocating funds, like we're reducing the ability for law enforcement to have resources that harm our communities. Um, that was a quote by Patrice Cullors. What is Cullors. a resource that harms the community? Uh Fucking AK-47. <laughs> that harms a community. Oh, why the fuck them yeah, when I pull up to Penn Station, right, and Buddy has... Do you know why... Do you, have you ever seen um, a cop with like an assault rifle or yeah. a shotgun? Do you know why they carry those? Why? It is not for smoke. It is not for action. It is for deterring away terrorists and threats, right? That is mm -hmm. literally why they have those big guns. We don't need that. We don't need that. A gun is a gun, my nigga. Like, those bullets will kill me. I'm good. You could. Have your pistol and I'm okay. You don't need AKs and the funding of AKs. And when I first heard defund the police, um, as black people, we grow up in, in communities that are very over-policed. Over-policed. Every time there's a, a crime spree, there's drugs, there's weapons, there's anything like that, the only solution that people give to that community is we need more cops. We need more, we need more boots on the ground. We need more guns. We need bigger guns.